Welcome back to Nathan Plays Super Metroid. I'm Nathan, and this, as always, is Super Metroid. Joining me today are Bentley the dog, staring intently out the window, and Gideon Cat is nowhere to be found. Perhaps he's on assignment somewhere else. Istanbul, maybe. When last we left off, we had defeated Ridley in the depths of Norfair, and now there's nothing left but to head back upstairs to that big crazy statue room and see what happens. We are down deep in the middle of this here, and there might be a map station around here somewhere, but I honestly can't remember if there is. Coming up here is one of the uh, sort of big, big tricks this game pulls. It, it's, it's pulled a few of them uh, on the player that I've I've highlighted a little bit in the past, and uh, today is today's a nasty one that boggled my mind for uh, for a long time. I can just head on out of here, get to it actually. So, back this way, if we wanted to try and backtrack the way we came in, is like burning hot liquid death. So that's kind of blocked off to us now. Going forward, well, you have this kind of scary statue thing. And just uh, take a quick detour here. Oh. Turns out you can kill those monster heads with one super missile. We actually want to head down to a quick secret area. Try not to destroy all of the light bugs. And... Oops, that one... Okay, well, necessary. And just grab one of those. Okay. Then you're thinking, okay, great, I'll just, uh... Go forward then, if going back is out of the question. Well, little problem. First of all, there's these things. And there's boulders. You have to watch out for those. Or just walk into them. You know, whatever works. Over that, and we'll go over that, and then you can go up here. And wait, what? Nothing. Sure, this is breakable, but it's only breakable if you land on it from the top, which means that right now there, the way is blocked off to us. And there's just a wall over here. I mean, nothing happening over there at all. Well, as I said, this is one of the best tricks the game has to pull. This wall doesn't show up on your scanner. And I did not know that for the longest time, and so I would get as much health as I could, and then I would make my way back through the liquid burning death in the previous room and sort of backtrack all the way through there while losing copious amounts of energy. I think there was just a power bomb back there, right? This leads back to that power bomb. If you kind of go through the pipes there and everything. But, yeah. Oh, I forgot to look at the time. I mean, the in-game time. We started pretty close, I wonder. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, and I apologize if I don't actually get there under three hours. My best. So that, uh, yeah, that obstacle is there's one or two places that don't show up that way on the uh, on the scanner, and that's one of them, and it's not very nice of them at all. So one day, some years ago, I finally looked up, okay, how am I actually supposed to get out of here? Because I knew that backtracking the way I was doing couldn't be right. It couldn't be. And yet I didn't see another way to do it. And then I looked it up and then I was mildly upset. This actually brings you right back next to, uh, this is where we got the wave beam a long time ago. Let's see, we're heading into the bubble room here. Bubbles. They're not for bubbles. Let's see if we can't. Our way upstairs right quickly. Um so again, there's there's a lot of secrets left to be gotten in the game. I don't have nearly all of the missile power-ups. Uh for sure. Obviously, as you can see, I'm missing a couple of uh energy tanks. I'm also missing, I think, two of the reserve tanks, but they're not necessary. We'll be fine. 
Bentley the dog, what do you see out the window? He's sitting up like there's something important. Now he's looking at me, like, why am I talking? Now he's back to the window. Use your words, dog. Words. Space jump plus screw attack makes uh, area traversal substantially easier. It's very, very nice. And I think I mentioned that you really don't want to blow this tube too soon, because then you have to run through this every single time you come through here. And if you don't know where you're going, that could be a lot. We're just gonna sail over everything. Even the spines don't hurt us anymore. Okay, this can be a little bit tricky, because you have to... Do it with style. Oh. Hey, fine, fine. You know what? We'll go this way. Doesn't matter. Sometimes I go uh, around to sort of pass by this ship and get some of my supplies. And maybe I should actually be doing that anyway. Um, we have a few options available to us. Oh, there's one. find out. Ah, oh, my grasshopper things. But, let's jump into them like nothing matters. What kind of a wall are we dealing with? Sometimes I forget and then I use a power bomb on it and then it's kind of pointless because it's just that one block right there. that real quick. Yeah, we will still head up to the ship just to refill our supplies here. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was luck. We scanned the room and saw that there was an invisible platform there. And comes with a free missile tank. But is that all of the missile tanks? No. Again, this is one of the instances when they're kind of uh, a little bit mean that there's only one dot on your map, so you'd be excused for thinking that you found the only obvious power up in the room, but. You have to check everything. Check everything. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go like we're in a hurry. Back through the early areas. the old mother brain station. Guys. Nice. Good up. Already grabbed that power up, so no need to run there.
just kind of sail up the wall here. There's no need to, uh, and there's no, sometimes if you mess up the timing, you can't jump again until you land and kind of reset. It's not always very simple. Um, there's no need to eliminate everything in the room, like it's not a sealed door or anything. You can, uh, it might have been faster to walk, but. Serious? Go. Unexplored rooms off the side. Time for them now. Ten. Let's fuel up here. Get some Red Bull, or whatever your energy drink of choice is. I think we have a good amount of supplies to head into the end game with, don't you? Truth is, you could probably even do it with a lot less than this. And we're gonna do one thing. Get one of these through here. But it's kind of on the way. Definitely an area designed for late game exploration. Oh, so. oh, didn't almost get them all. Oh shoot, I should have gone for that last one. Well, there's one down in um. Star that uh, skipped. Ow, 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 ow. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Ow. I could have farmed off of that alien hive as well, but it's not nice. Now we're back here, and you're going to recognize the room below us in just a second. The thing is, um, so this drops down. Right, and then you have kind of your choice of two. As far as I know, there's not a way to get both of them at once because these things close up pretty quickly behind you. Um, and obviously you can't jump up them. So the, the other thing would be to just go around again and, uh, and, and do that all over again. However, we're not gonna bother. And if you remember, this is from way back in the beginning of the game. We used to have to use missiles. Now we can practically look at these guys. Let's go to the statue room. Ghost alien guy. Shrimp guy. Ripley. Ridley. Ridley. Ripley. Ripley is Lieutenant Ellen. Ridley is the space dragon. Oh. Well, Alright then. My work here is done. I made the statue sink. Ooh. Way has opened up. We had nothing better to do today, anyway. Yep, it is the final area of the game, Turian. Read the new song, dance itself to our ears. Bubble noises. Terribly hot lava. And the game gets pretty linear past this point. Also, we are gonna need to turn on one thing. 
Buzz. Old friend is about to come visit. Hello. It's a proper Metroid. They're big, and you have to freeze them and five missiles to the dome. These uh, friendly Cheerio things are flying out of the uh, walls just to help you stock on your supplies if you're low. Use this one and he's gonna get me. No, 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 no. Ow. Okay, when they grab you, the only way, like the mock droids, to get them off is with bombs. They do drop a little more uh, health and power-ups and such than usual. Which is very nice of them. But you have to proceed somewhat carefully, which I was not doing. And you have to kill each one of them in each room. I suppose uh, their cloning attempts were successful. Oh boy. And now we have a bunch of them because as we established in the beginning of the game, the last Metroid was in captivity. So uh, presumably the mock droids were space pirates attempting to make more, failing, and now they must have succeeded. Look at these fellas. Rather big. Um, kind of varies a little bit throughout canon. Metroid Prime Metroids are a lot smaller. Uh, actually, that's not true. Like, they seem smaller because you're sort of looking at them in a different perspective. Ow. So it's a lot of kind of carefully and tactically going room to room, hearing them of these nasty, nasty Metroids and seeing what we'll find at the end. Lucky with that one. These kind of downward drops are tricky because they're waiting for you. Suddenly we come to a new area, and this fellow is resistant to flying bullets. He doesn't like regular missiles. It's got to be super missiles, and a couple of them. Fortunate. Oh, another one. should have a few of those by the time you get down here, so that's not too much to ask, I suppose. Um, okay. Sand. It's kind of starting to creep me out. I don't know about you guys. One of these enemies here actually just sort of disintegrates on contact. doing the sand disintegrating. Okay, no, no, no. Ah! Right now, there's not a whole lot I can do. Obviously, this thing's a lot bigger and tougher than anything I've come across before, and it's got me up. Sounds a lot like my old friend, Baby Metroid. Title screen. Uh, I'm in kind of a dire situation here. Hopefully I don't run into any trouble before I get this fixed up. Ah, thank goodness. Yes, as you might have imagined, <clears throat> that was a little bit of a plot moment there. Uh, not anything you can do to beat him or hold him off. That baby is gonna take your energy, whether you like it or not. Well, only way out is through, so we're gonna keep pressing forward. Hopefully we don't come across anything as troublesome as that. Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Eyeball door means bosses are nearby. You know what? Just in case. Okay. 
the music um, and sort of general area are, um, again, in an homage to the original Metroid. The song's, excuse me, the song's a little updated, a little creepier, um, but the kind of uh, techno corridor bubbly sound backing soundtrack thing is, is still, and of course this room is straight out of Metroid 1. You have to use um, regular missiles to break the barriers. Try not to get shot too much, and of course that uh, water is going to burn and burn. So, Metroid 1 aficionados are going to know what's coming next. As I fight my way through this. Ah, my old friend. The mother brain is here. Well, you're obviously behind all of this nonsense, and I thought I put you in the ground before, but I need to do it again. Break the dome and just pump as many missiles as an inter as you can. Try and keep your footing. Keep an eye on the Cheerios there. By now you should have enough supplies to make this thing happen. And then, victory! Uh, I apologize to any epileptics in the audience. And famously has seemingly a no-tolerance policy. Well, good. Alright, uh, I'll just go that- oh. Well, this is, a, this is a new wrinkle for the Mother Brain. It's not something we've seen before. Let's get to work. Of course, once again, the Brain is still the way to go. He's got a couple of different attacks. The uh, ring's there. She drops the bombs that spread out in a resultant pattern. She's got eye lasers. They're a tough customer. The music has gotten pretty epic. Use everything you have. Power bombs are not going to be super effective in this fight. And when you run out of missiles, it's time to just start doing charged shots. Ah, the fireball sort of one thing is a good sign. If means are making progress, he doesn't uh, discolor as much as the other ones, so it's hard to tell sometimes. power bombs and briefly incapacitated me. I can try and stand up, but I can't actually move. She'll get up for a moment and then sort of collapse back to her knees there. This really looks like the end for poor Samus. No more power? I'm finished. No. Comes up. Yes, baby Metroid. Never loved you more than right now. I think the Metroid's having kind of a feeding frenzy there. Don't ask me how something that big gets around all these pipes and corridors and things, but... Yes, reduce her to dust. Still can't stand up. Ah! Baby Metroid is refilling my energy. How, how nice. Oh no. Baby Metroid, you didn't finish the job. Oh. You can uh, notice the Baby Metroid in different shades here. Very tragic. Go, go, save yourself. Don't worry about me. I have my energy back. You've done it. Now it's on. Baby Metroid imbued me with the Mother Brain's awesome psychic beam power thing. I'm made of rainbows and destruction.
gonna be dead for real this time. I'm not kidding around. Okay, that looks pretty dead. But unfortunately, he was what you call a load-bearing boss. Now, I just want to show you something real quick. All my beams have actually been replaced by Hyper now, so that is the Hyper Beam that I was gifted with, thanks to the sacrifice of the baby Metroid. But no time for that. We've got three minutes to get out of this crazy place. This game loves its escape timers. Hyper Beam will blast through any of the doors. And it's a little bit of a stressful situation, I won't lie. Sometimes forget which path to take. Of course, they try and confuse you with multiple paths here just to really kind of freak you out and make you do it again, potentially. Stop there and then go up here. Good to hold down the uh, run button in this case and down button up. Of course, the pirates don't stand a chance, but it's, you know, it's kind of neat that they're valiantly trying to put up a fight while they're base is clearly, uh, you know, about to go. Okay, now we gotta, you saw the lava acid stuff rising there, we've gotta make our way up real quick while everything's shaking and exploding and, it's, you know, thing. It's fine, we made it, and, oh, back here, one more time to do this ascent. I could uh, try and do the space jump trick up the side, but you know what? This is honestly going to be just as good. There is one little pit stop we have to make on the way out. And while it is a secret, it is canon, according to Metroid Fusion, the next game in the series on the Game Boy Advance. So, obviously, we have to do it. The little critters and monsters that were here just uh, took the opportunity to take off. Sensed their impending doom and left. Led. This place is clearly in a bad way. All the doors you notice were sealed off, except for the one you wouldn't think to go for. Gosh, you guys, get out of here. Why, why are you all in here? There, keep the wall open for them. Go, 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 go. No, don't wait for me. Just go, go. Run. Nice. They were my friends. They helped me out. It's only fitting, actually. So that in kindness as well. No idea how they all got in there. Ship. Time to sit back and watch the end cutscene. Plenty of time to spare. Let's get off this rock. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, yes. One of my favorite explosions in the entire Super Nintendo canon right there. That planet going up. I love it. The big sort of whoosh. Um, the animals. Uh, if you go back, if you rewind the video a tiny little bit, once you see my ship tumbling away from the explosion, watch the right side of the screen and a little dot goes shooting off to the side, which is uh, not there if you don't take the time to save them. So um, it's implied here and then confirmed later that they, they got on a ship of their own and were able to escape the planet. So that's nice. Now you get to bask in the glory of the credits and the uh, victorious kind of fanfare theme here. 
read some names that our Western eyes are unfamiliar with. Oh, there was a fact I was going to gonna source and make sure I had it right. Um, in older games, you don't see a lot of full names, like stuff from the like 80s and into the early 90s, I think, even. And I, heard, I read... It was in a documentary I was watching where they somebody mentioned that um, companies didn't used to allow programmers and stuff to use their full names. They, they all had to come up with pseudonyms and stuff. And so uh, they, the programmers came up with a lot of ways to sneak their names into the background of the game, like in other ways. Like if you were in a fighting game, there would be a billboard that would say Motomu on it or whatever. Even if in the credits he's something else entirely. I was going to look that up and I forgot, so... Just take my word for it. I always thought George Sinfield was, uh, was a pseudonym. So that reminds me too much of George Seinfeld. And then I just, I think it's got to be a reference. It's got to be. It's 1990, what, four? Three? So... Gunpei Yokoi. Inventor of the Game Boy. Sadly, the inventor of the Virtual Boy. And a host of other things. Oh. There you go. Your reward for under three hours. Do you... Um, I don't know what the other tiers are anymore. Uh, one of them, she just takes off her helmet. One of them, she doesn't take off anything at all. And that symbol, if I ever got a tattoo, which I'm not saying I will, but if I ever did, that'd be it. 78% sounds about right. And there's my sign-off. See you next mission. That's what I always say, and that's where it comes from. So there we go. And I even got it in in a normal amount of video time. Fantastic. Well, it's been a real treat uh, doing these up. I've had a lot of fun recording them. Of course, I always enjoy playing the game and uh, being able to talk over it the whole time has been fun, actually. And I've gotten some good feedback from people. And, uh, you know, thanks for being encouraging in that way. And I've I've made a list of, of future games to maybe check out, maybe um, record and stuff I'd be a little a little less familiar with because let's face it there's nothing that I'm as familiar with as this so uh, I might might look at a little bit of a format change maybe I'll need a little more editing it's not uh, other games aren't the kinds of things that I can just run through and not die ever um, so we'll see we'll see what the future holds but um, as always thank you so much for watching and yeah we'll see you next mission